Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be testing out a new Tarte foundation. It is not the Shape Tape foundation, I tried that. And aside from the whole scandal surrounding that launch with the shade range, we all remember, uh, I just did not like that foundation. I did not think it made my skin look great. So what this is, is Tarte's new found sealer. I love the name of that. I mean, that just means to me in my head, like the immediate without doing any research that this is going to be concealer for my face. I recently picked this up. I bought it myself when I was out shopping for makeup. Wow. I don't need to shop for makeup. Like at this point, I almost feel a little bit like, like when I go in Sephora, I'm like, oh, I have a lot of PR. I don't know I, I sh if I should, I don't know. And then I see like the, tower and like it has the things and i'm just like i need to know my audience needs to know like i love giving reviews especially when i have that kind of a reaction in a store and it really pulls me in and it's not sent to me and not that pr is a bad thing that's like a whole separate conversation it's not but I just love that reaction that I imagine so many of you would have as well, just that curiosity. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna figure it out together. I'm hopeful. It has a really great shade range, so they really like bumped it up with this launch, so good on you, Tarte. Um, I really like that this pops open and you have this kind of hidden pump. Like that's super kind of cute. I like the foil, I like the gold, like the whole feel and look of the bottle is really, really nice. You get one full ounce in here and I like that the expiration is right on the bottom instead of six months from now or, or what have you. Like I really like that. So this expires in uh, December of 2020. Oh my gosh, 2020. That's going to be so weird. This is the shade 34 neutral. I also picked up the shade light beige 22B just because she was having a hard time, you guys. <laughs> I felt like a crazy person in Sephora because I was literally like crouched down. I had swatches all over me and there were a few subscribers that came up and it was so awesome. Like I love meeting you guys, but I was so worried that I was going to like bump makeup on someone while I was like, you know, giving a hug and taking a photo. And I just got a little like, ah, I need to get out of here. And I'm hoping I shade matched myself correctly because I was just kind of getting it on my hand and being quick about it. So I was like, I can't decide, I'm taking two. We'll do this. So let's dive in. Class is in session. Coverage is medium. Why? Why are you not full? Found sealer means like concealer, like conceal, like foundation that is more is what I think, but that's fine. Medium coverage, whatever. We have concealer to do anything else that I wanna cover. This is a radiant finish. I'm curious to see if it's that opalescent finish or if it's just kind of a juicy hydrating radiance because those are two very separate and different things. I particularly love a radiant finish that is juicy and just pulls moisture and just makes you look just effortless and hydrated and balanced and like all of the good things with your skin. When you get too pearlescent with a foundation, it can exaggerate your pores, texture. It's kind of grabbing light in different areas that maybe you don't want it to. And even though it's very subtle, that can still happen. So that's a big like eh, that I don't like in foundation personally. I don't think it's as flattering as just juicing up the skin with a ton of hydration and then making sure things look smooth, even poreless, perfect adding in your highlight and your areas that you want light to kind of dance off of with a highlighter. So that's always been my vibe, but radiant can mean so many different things. I mean, example, NARS Sheer Glow. You see the word glow, you're like glowy. Yes, like maybe you would want that. For me, I used to have more oily skin and I would always stay away from that one because I saw the word glow and as a consumer, I was like, ew, I don't want to glow. I got enough sweat and oil on my face. No, thank you. Until a makeup artist shared with me that uh, she used it all the time on her clients even if they had oily skin because it just really balanced. It didn't add a lot of shine or dewiness. It was just the right kind of glow. So anyway, uh, this is starting out with a lesson. There you go. This does contain babasu. I'm not familiar with that ingredient, but it is a hydrating ingredient. Also, this has sunflower seed oil, which is rich in vitamin E and A, good things for the skin. Also hyaluronic acid, which pulls moisture from the air. It's one of my favorite ingredients out there. Just like, I would just like to dip myself in a bucket of hyaluronic acid. People hear the word acid and they're like, ah, 
and they think that it's something that's gonna exfoliate, oh no, no. It is just gonna make you look better. Mm. Interesting, hyaluronic acid is one of the last ingredients. That usually means there's not a lot of it concentrated in the product, but companies like to do that so that they can say, formulated with this, formulated with that. And really they don't have to tell you, you know, what they're putting in there. It could be 1% in 100% of the product. So that's interesting. I never like seeing that when like the call out ingredients are like smashed all the way at the bottom, but it is a foundation. So we're more into coverage. You can do good skincare before, take some halo supplements to help you beautify from the inside out and foundation can just be foundation. It's fine, we'll all survive. Um, this also uses zinc and titanium dioxide as your sunscreens. Those are natural sunscreens and not chemical sunscreens, so that's good. If you want a lighter amount of product on the skin, you want a lighter, more fresh type of a coverage, then it says to go in with their sponge or really any sponge that you like. It says for a fuller coverage, you can go in with a foundation brush. They say theirs, use any one that you like. And I'm gonna do different on each side and we'll compare. Cool. I have 5,000 brushes in front of me and I don't think I have a foundation brush. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, you guys, someone made a meme video about me and I finally was like, ah, I was like, oh my gosh, I made it. Like someone like took the time to make a meme video about me. And I say holy smokes way too often. I 100% realized it in that video. I was like, I should cool it on that, but it's like my favorite thing. Holy smokes, holy smokes. Holy smokes, holy smokes, holy smokes, holy smokes. Where shall we begin? I am already primed with my Tarte Poreless Primer. I'm only wearing that today. I don't have anything else on. I feel like this will be hydrating enough, so I didn't wanna like overhydrate the skin. So I'm gonna do as they say and squish on the back of my hand. Actually, we need to do a quick test. Let's do this, hello. So that is 22B. And that is the color that I want to be. I love being tan. I feel like I have so much olive in my skin and that my skin is very thin that I just wanna cancel that out. And having a little more pigment and color and a tan and like I've been outside in the outdoors and like I look like I have circulation and I'm human, like I love that look. So I think that's why I'm always like, mm a little more. I think I'm gonna mix them together. I'm gonna be that girl. I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand. I have a pump of each just so we're clear. So this is two pumps. And I am going to go in with the Smashbox Blurring Foundation on this side. This is going to give us more coverage. And then I have the area where I typically want more coverage. We're gonna use a sponge just so we see if using a sponge doesn't cover as much and then we can go in with a brush and really see what happens. So I don't know, does that make sense? Maybe. This is blending really quickly. That's nice. It's not like glopping on the skin or grabbing anything. I really try to use a lighter amount of product on my forehead just because I feel like that's the one area on me that I get dry and I just, I like it to not have so much built up product. I think the skin looks so much prettier when you keep it sheer there. So I'm just gonna kind of blend this out. And it looks nice. I'm gonna go in with my trusty beauty blender on the other side and just kind of stamp on in. Okay, I see what they're saying with this being a lot sheerer with how the initial lay down is. It just kind of sinks right into the skin. The sponge is pulling off a little bit of the product as well. So this is gonna definitely be your more natural route, but who wants that? So sometimes I just want all of the makeup and I don't care because I'm just having fun and sometimes I wanna be like that gorgeous rolled out of bed is she wearing makeup? Is she not, you know? So like you can be all things with makeup. Dude, you guys, I think I like this. <gasps> yes. I love finding like a nice juicy foundation that is 
making me feel good about my skin, but is still leaning on a more natural edge. All right, the fun does not stop there, you guys. So I am gonna finish up my makeup, of course, on the face and kind of breeze through it. But I did want to also use this guy right here. This is not PR. This is something that my mom picked out for me when she shopped for me in Ulta by herself and just literally went to town. She looked at me and she's like, so I can take your card and like whatever. And I'm like, yeah, sure, have fun. She came out with the biggest bag and the biggest smile. Oh my God. That is a big bag. How much <laughs> money did you spend? Oh, a few hundred or so. I was looking at the footage and I'm like 48 minutes of straight footage of my mom shopping. Are you kidding me? She had the greatest adventure. She got a bunch of stuff for herself, which I love. And then we kind of like just had fun with it together filming. So if you have not seen that video, go and watch it. Leave some love for mom. She is just the very best. She's the cutest. She is where I get my just strong passion for anything art anything color, anything painting. She is an artist, she paints. I grew up watching her do watercolors, work with oils. She's taught me so much. Art plays a huge role in my family on both sides and expression. And I just happen to always love using my face and other faces as my canvas. And she's always been really encouraging of that. So she doesn't really understand makeup, but she loves it and she picked out some fun stuff and she saw this and she's always like a little louder than I am. So literally I was like, what color should I go in with first? And she's like, how about this one? I'm like, oh, okay. So for now, what I'm gonna do is fast forward a little bit, put on my concealer, my powder, my bronzer, all of that. And then we'll get to the eyes. The skin looks so good, you guys. I like it. Like I feel juiced up exactly what I was saying in the beginning that I was worried it was gonna be a little more pearlescent. This is not, it's just nice and hydrating. Now what we're gonna do, I'm all primed on the lids. We're gonna have a little fun with this guy. I am gonna go in first with Beach Therapy. Just putting a little depth in the crease. My friends, it is a fabulous makeup day. I love how this turned out. I even love the glitter during daytime. I'm living my very best mermaid dreams come true life. So this palette is really nice. I would have never bought this for myself because I'm kind of putting myself in a little bit of time out as far as 
you know, shadow palettes and all of that. Like when I do videos like this and I purchase myself, I like it to be like a new super hot item like foundation or a concealer, or if it's a particular palette that everyone wants to hear about. But I saw this and I kind of was just like, eh, no, I don't know. I'm really happy that mom bought this for me because I think it's so cute and I love the packaging on it too. It's just very summery and fun easy to work with colors, really fun glitters in the center. I dig it. And then this foundation is truly impressing me. We're gonna see hour to hour how this holds up. It is super hot here in California today. So it's a great day to do a test, especially with a moisturizing foundation. This could fall apart really fast, I guess is what I'm saying. So let's find out what happens. I'll see you guys with check-ins in a little bit. So my makeup is looking pretty good it's dewy but it's not overly dewy it's super hot outside my mom and i went to namie's we shopped a little bit so i was out in the heat for a while and looks pretty good to me she's leaving me sadness um, let's go over here to the light dang it's collected a little bit here so far so good Hi you guys, it is about two in the morning. I don't even know how this happens. Literally, I have not had really one moment today to not work. Like even eating my meals today, I was like on my computer, I'm working on a ton of stuff, really cool things. I'm excited about it all, but I'm spread thin right now, you guys. It's just a lot. And then my mom left today, um, it was awesome having her here but she she's so funny she literally showed up with an empty suitcase went into the studio and she's like so you always said that you would hook me up with makeup and here i am and she's like i have an empty suitcase and i thought she was kind of joking i'm like oh my god mom really has an empty suitcase okay i took two carry-on bags and checked them both in so that i could put everything in one bag and then load up <laughs> makeup <laughs> Our video together was so funny, by the way. Again, I will link it below. Long story short, the makeup has expired. This only wears well for about six and a half hours. It starts to get a little broken and greasy after that time. And the fact that it's not a full coverage means that you're going to deal with things starting to poke through. So that's a scar, that's a scar, that's pigmentation, that's not an active breakout. I usually can cover this up much better. This did not cover heavily. It just kind of evened the complexion plus a little extra. Um, the Let's do like an up, up close for you guys. You can kind of see that it's, it's just breaking apart a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, hello, the glittery eyeshadow is really, really fun actually. I do super dig that. So that was cool. The rest of it, you know, it's nice. It's been on my face for over 12 hours. So like, I think at this point, I don't know what would still be looking fresh and fantastic. I'll wear this again. I like the ingredients. I like the finish of it, the application of it, the spread out and evenness of it, and that it does somehow apply so much more full coverage with a brush versus a sponge. Like everything they claimed about it is very accurate and I appreciate that. I think the price is good. The color range is excellent and all in all, really nice new product. So yay. Someone needs some sleep. Um, the Midnight Crazies are here where I'm sleepy and also like ready to do projects. Anybody else suffer from that where you're like, I'm so exhausted. It's been a long day, why am I up? And then also you're like, you know what I need to do? Clean my makeup drawer. Like I just, I, I need, I'm happy that it is almost the weekend. All right, I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you ring the bell. Do all of the things. Leave those comments. Let me know how you're doing. I hope you're doing great. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.